the big motor 1600 cc 2022 Busa set up on my good buddy 5 up motorcycles and now it's time for me to test everything that he's done to this machine so that we can make sure that it's ready to face people in filthy Cleveland like Mustang Dame Valentin, his twin brother Gabriel, Jeff Vaga, Gary Penna, and other people that need to be put in their place. So for right now we're going to do second gear roll-ons testing and see what happens. <laughs> and since my Busa has its full brakes stopping this big motorcycle is drama less as part of my testing I now have to face kind David like a man who weighs a lot less than me normally destroys me on all my bikes second You got it. You're gonna go like this. Okay. <laughs> Second gear 60 roll. And we have the bike strapped and this will be my first time testing the first gear launch at around 30 mile an hour Nice. No drama, just like with my Z. I can take off in first gear. That's fantastic. That's absolutely fantastic. That is exactly what I wanted from this machine. So now here's the race that you really wanted to see. Five up on this Super Leger V4 versus me on the Busa that he's done all the work to. And we're gonna see what happens. Uh, you know, typically Boosas are in no category with a Superleggera V4 in speed, handling, anything. But since this one is all done up with its 1600cc engine, it might be able to put up a good fight against that Superleg, which weighs a hell of a lot less. And is ridden by a guy that knows how to ride it, and it's set up beautifully for what we like to do here in America. Straight line, smackdowns. There's that wonderful sound of the dry clutch. So our first run is going to be in second gear starting at around 60 miles per hour. After that, we'll try to do second gear, first gear runs. Nice run, 
great stopping power from this Brusa with its enhanced Brembo full braking system. Brembo master cylinder. Brembo <laughs> calipers. Really helps this thing stop. We upgraded the brake lines to steel braided. But that's a beautiful bike, that's Super Legera. Five Up recently reinstalled his beautiful winglets back onto the bike and he actually said that he prefers racing it with the winglets on. The bike is more steady, doesn't get bounced around the road as much with the turbulence. And I think it looks a lot better with... <laughs> it looks a lot better uh, with those winglets back on the bike. So now we're going to try a first gear run. First gear, 35, 40 mile an hour. Because uh, I'm going to be doing racing in, in those two uh, factors, uh, starting factors. Either first gear, 30 mile an hour, or second gear, 60 mile an hour and above. And so I need training for both. But I will tell you this, this bike is a lot more, a lot faster than my butchered ZX-10. Uh, handles, well not handles better, but it's more comfortable for me. The transmission is better. First gear. Okay, so this will be Kyle David's first time riding 5-Up's $100,000 Super Leger V4, and 5-Up is a man much like myself. What fun is it owning all these exotic, amazing motorcycles if you don't let your mates ride them? Trustworthy mates. And so he is allowing Kyle David to ride his bike, and I'm going to smack Kyle David around and give him a hit since it's his first time riding. So now we're going to try first gear. I'm still going to give him a hit. Checking everything, make sure everything is okay. Oh, it already moved? Oh, my human grip like moved. <laughs> That's Steve on my Busa. First gear hit. No drama, no wheelie, no nothing. Ready to spank Mustang Dane. So now on our fun-filled day of testing, we got kind David about to race five up motorcycles on his girlfriend's K67 S1000 RR that they call Stella. And we're gonna see what happens. Give her a dance. They started in second gear. Kind David got him. Kind David got him by a bike and a half. So Kind David is going to ride my beautifully set up. I don't call it butchered because it's not butchered. It's beautifully it set up. Brakes. It has brakes. It has everything. 
has, has upgraded brakes. Brembo yeah. Master Cylinder, calipers, everything. By that guy right there, five up motorcycles. But he's gonna ride this bike. Have at it, kind David, for his first time. Now this is a guy that typically does not like extended bikes and he doesn't like lowered bikes. His uh, 2012 S1000, he refuses to lower it. You can see it right here. So this ought to be interesting to get his perspective and opinion. Woo that Brock CT megaphone, full titanium exhaust sounds amazing on the upshifts. What do you have to say? Uh, this bike actually makes you question staying at full throttle. <laughs> I was, I like lightly got into it in second going that way, like literally three quarter throttle. And I was like, it actually feels like it wants to just toss you off the back. Yes. Yes. Cause like also to be fair, I'm not used to riding a Busa. I haven't rode a Busa in 20 years. Right. This bike, it doesn't feel aggressive. So you don't feel locked into the bike. So the power that it makes just feels like you're just going to come off. Yes. Oh, Especially at your weight. Yes. Yeah. I was in the top of sixth gear by the time I got here. We saw that, whereas I'm not usually. No, you were in the top of fifth gear. Yep, because of the weight difference. I looked down after I killed the, the closed the throttle and I was like, that was actually sixth gear. Wow. It doesn't yeah. know I'm on it. No, it doesn't, you're invisible. <laughs> and like you said, that's due in part to our beautiful M2 shock back there that's set up for me. It looks amazing. Marcus from M2, that shout looks, out to him. The tune on it. Like, oh, of course, we talked about Brent tuning, yeah. Dude, the yeah. tune on it, it yeah. Honestly, if you didn't go above a quarter throttle and just rode this thing normal, it actually rides like a stock bike. Yes. It really does, other than the power, obviously, but <laughs> it doesn't feel all stupid. The tune feels really, really good, actually. It does. Yeah, we have the uh, uh, titanium connecting rotted high-end uh, carpenter build, along with the uh, stacks that Bren has developed. He used my bike as a development bike for a while and we weren't sure how well that was going to work in a higher displacement uh, situation, but it, it seems to actually even be better. So the third gen got a as-cast uh, throttle body set that are individual throttle bodies, so they're quite a bit smaller to promote more uh, mid-range and yes. make the bike more playful. Uh, as a stock bike, which kind of hurts us when we start going to a bigger motor and stuff of that nature. So uh, we sent out the throttle bodies for minor, minor porting and uh, it's got Bren stacks, uh, F-185 sprint filter and uh, the Brock CT mag tie system and yeah. it's on pump gas it's all the time. Gas. Yeah. I'm still shaking my head actually. <laughs> <laughs> Making power and going fast is not easy. Okay, yeah, it's probably sucking a while to heat out. So.